Hello Mailsy friends, it's tutorial time. In this video I'm going to show you just how easy it is to send your email with Mailsy.net. Okay, here we are at the Mailsy login screen and the first thing we need to do is log into our account. Okay, we're going to log into our account. Okay, logged in. Next thing we're going to do is click on send mail. Okay. This is the send mail form. Now what I've done already is prepared an email here on my desktop in a text file. I'm going to open that up and then at the top I put my subject. So I'm going to highlight that by left clicking and dragging and highlighting the, that file. That, and then I'm going to hit control X to cut that subject out. Then I'm going to come over here to Mailsy, and I'm going to hit Control V to paste that subject in there. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is come back to the text file, and copy the rest of the email. So to do that, since I've already cut, cut out the subject, I'm going to press Control A, and that will select all that's in the email in the text file, then right click and copy, or you can use control plus C, that'll also copy, and then I'm going to come over here, I'm going to click over here, that'll bring up the send mail form again, and then I'm going to paste by control V, and I'm going to paste it in, okay, it'll automatically open up, and then I'm going to make it a little bigger too. So I'm going to use Control A again to select everything that's in the window. And then I'm going to choose a font size. And I'm going to try 16. That makes it just a little bit, a little bit bigger. Oh, we got an error here. So I'm going to correct that. And it looks like I've got some punctuation problems. So I'm going to use my Grammarly plugin I've got for Chrome here, click on it, and it will change that for me. I've got another one here. I'm going to do that one manually because it looks like Grammarly's working. Okay. Now the next we're going to do is we're going to use grab the URL and we're going to paste it down in the box here. Now I've got her in the email already so I'm going to control C and copy that and then I'm going to control V and paste it in the URL box. Okay now just like it says right here please only ever include one. It's good to have one because if the credit link is expired then people can still read your email and click your link that's inside the body. Okay, see I got an extra space up here, so I'm going to click that cursor and press the delete key. Remove that one. Okay, now, now it's set up in HTML here. If you want to continue, if you want to like use this or maybe you want to change a color here. You can change the text color and then when next time you want to paste it, you want to use it, um, you want to use the HTML instead. How we do that is we click on the source button here. That will open up and it will show you the HTML. Then I'm going to control A. I'm going to control C. Copy. Or you can use right click. And then I'm going to come back over here. And I'm actually going to just create a new file. But what you can do is you can save a new file or you know, paste it into this one. I'm going to save a new file, and then I'm going to paste this here, and then I'm going to save this as List Adventure 2. So now, if I want to go back and save this and, and submit it as HTML, I can use this one. I've got the HTML code already. Control C, copy. Okay, and then let's say we're going to start from there, blank. To paste in HTML, you got to make sure you got to click this source button first. And then when you paste it, 
you paste the HTML code and then when you click source again, bam, you, you see the, the actual text. Okay, so I'm going to come back here. I'm going to finish this up. Copying that subject line again, paste it into the mail C form, and then I'm going to copy that link, paste it into the URL submission box. Um, credits are already filled out for me. Uh, you can schedule this later. Um, you can also check your URL too. Since I copied it already, you click on this, it'll open up a new tab. Okay, paste it in that box. Hit test my URL. And make sure that's my members area. If you log out. Okay, let's refresh this. Paste it again. Okay, there's the front page of List Adventure. Make sure that works. It does, so then I'm going to close that window. Come back to there. I want to send this email now, so I'm not going to click the Send Now button. You can just, if you want to send it later on, a better time, you can just choose it. And check the box, and then it'll send at that scheduled time in the future. Otherwise, just leave it Send Now and hit the Send button. And the site checker wants to check your site. And when it's approved, click confirm site. And it's been queued. Okay, so now we can click on view send me uh, sent messages. You see that it's queued here. And give it a few minutes. And it will start sending. And you can actually, if you refresh that of this page, after a few minutes it will start to send and you can see it and when you refresh it the number will change every time you refresh it. I, mean, I wouldn't suggest doing that all the time just to make sure that you know that something's going on and it's going out. Um, that's all there is to it. Thanks for watching.